A big plan to revitalize downtown Indianapolis moves one step closer to reality. Two projects are in the works near Massachusetts Ave that the city said would introduce a lot of new resources and business to the area. Wish TV's Tierra Hignite shows what the future might look like. Mass Ave is known for its trendy retail space and restaurants. There's a lot going on down here on the weekends, and there's a lot of people and a lot of traffic and not a lot of places to park. It's kind of the place to be. It's seen some major changes in recent years. You're seeing a lot more people walking around with families, which is, a, I think, is a huge change. Soon, this parking lot just behind the Anthenaeum Theater will be a 255 space parking garage, retail space, and apartment complex that has been named Block 20. I think it would eliminate a lot of problems um, just to be able to have somewhere everyone coming in that doesn't know the town where to park. Everyone feels safer parking in a parking garage. Many people who visit Mass Ave often think Block 20 will give a boost to business as well. If you're going up and down Mass Ave for five, ten minutes and can't find a spot, you're not going to park and eat at that restaurant, so I think it's a great thing. A second project included in the proposal would turn two historic buildings near the corner of North and Park Avenue into retail space. It's home to pop-up shops for the month of May, but before that, it sat empty. It was absolutely empty. Um, it was, you could tell that it wasn't used at all. It was a lot of dust, a lot of um, just empty trash. Part of the 602 building will be torn down. The rest redeveloped. It's historical for a reason, so as long as the retail serve to still let the history come through. I don't believe that it should be torn down or anything, but I do believe that, you know, making minor adjustments to improve the value of it and to improve the appeal of it, I think that that's an amazing idea. The projects won't cost the city any money to start and will be paid for with money generated from the property taxes for the new developments. The developers will be responsible for any outstanding money. The next steps for this proposal is for approval from the mayor. And then it's all in the developer's hands in terms of a timeline. But the city council seems to think that once we get to that point, things should move pretty quickly because this discussion has been going on for years. Downtown Sierra Hignite, Wish TV, News 8.